As I stand before you, I want you to understand that I sincerely do not care who win the next general election. All I am asking is that Spanish Town get a proper drainage system. It is about time. We deserve it. I have prepared a slide. Look at this. Not the dog, the gutter. This is malaria. So it pains my heart to see how Jamaica is responding to this year's election. I wish we didn't have a corona issue going on. I would have definitely been on a plane even for like two minutes. Go vote and come on back because I think that voting is very important. Now, you young people and adults and very naive people, um, you have a vote, you have a say. Every person has one vote. It's literally just one, like everybody just get one. So you sitting back and saying, oh, my little one vote now and do nothing. So that means say little one man up there, some vote, go do something now, years now, do nothing. Everybody get one vote. Now what is happening right now with all the dubs and all of that is sickening. Because these artists are being used to Let me back up a little bit. All right. So with the dub plates, it's a tactic. Getting young people that are loyal supporters of certain artists kind of influence their vote. And that's the goal. The artists himself only get one vote. Enough of them might even go vote but it's to influence you for who you feel vote for my thing is voting or campaigning shouldn't be a two week three week one month before the election no your campaign at this point especially with corona like i am so mad at the fact that yo you know be like say corona and out of door and you will know run up and down and up and bandwagon and it's very disturbing because now that it benefits um upper saint andrew and and the upper parts of the different parishes the people that actually benefit from from politics directly um it's okay to be outside pack up pack up like hug and goat pan truck and bike and all kind of something and it's like wow what really they want like me not understand me really not understand the same people that were so vocal stay inside stay indoors go on in do this do that if you don't have to, don't wear your mask. Granted, people not even are wear clothes. Not even clothes them are wear outside. And I'm very angry. I'm very angry. I always said that I was one of I was one of those people that thought even if it never happened, happened or I never witnessed it, they happened. I thought that. I was one of those people that would say, if you're not pay for my vote, me not vote. You have to do something for me to get my vote. Believe in a one little back of world community. Ramble of one Jeep. And I remember a few months ago, not months, a, a while back, when like um the EPA police vehicle them are are roll out of, um I think it was Stewart's, but somewhere town. We have new police and then you get the, the yang yang bike them and all of that. And I'm like, Rumble have one working Jeep people. And Rumble police station look over so many different parts of Hanover. And Rumble have one Jeep. Rumble don't have a, a phone, I think. Or, um, I'm not even know how Rumble station work. And Rumble work in one of the worst um 
infrastructure. If you see the road where them have to travel pan for come a Hanover. If nothing for happen over, you're dead. Me can't call 911. For what? Them not going to reach there till, till the app done or everything done. But here we are voting and we run up and down and with the pan truck back and with the pan this and with the pan that and it disgusts me because them same people you're one supposed to they put in um people told me vex me I forget to eat. Yeah, These people were supposed to be holding accountable right round the year, right throughout them four year, two year tenure. We're not supposed to have run back at them for, for two weeks before election to tell them, say, yo, why you God do forget my vote? No, them supposed to do it from a longer time. From taller time, them supposed to do it. It's it very disgusting. Because here we are thinking, my vote don't count. You're one vote and everybody get one single vote. So whether you're the Prime Minister or you're just turned 18 and you don't have not even one pair of shoes to your name, your vote count. Your vote does count. And people out here and they must say, oh, me na vote, I'm not this, I'm not that. Let me show you something. Look at look at the events of the past year. Everybody thought 2020 is gonna go down in the history books. And look on 2020, how much things we make, how many changes came about because of people that stood up against certain things. There is strength in numbers. When you went down at the embassy, they, they pick it here for, for Black Lives Matter. And all of that. I mean, understand, say, yo, on the out here, on the just a. Um, you feel like you're not being heard. I understand, but when I have to come up with more creative ways, me not telling if we go loot and block road and burn down this. We need to hold our politicians accountable because here they are. We need so many things in this country, and they have so many means of getting those things to us. But them prioritize people who are louder than some. The ones that have more influence than some get more. A word. Who oh, me dad? People that their presence, their voices have more impact than some get easier access to certain things. So we can sit down and quiet and chop. Anything government want to then do, me not in it or um, a lot of us, let me tell you, one of the things were, one of the things I grew up learning was that, um, if your MP is not in, if, if I know your MP party, let's say JLP is, is, um, a JLP win this election, but your area, um, you have a PNP MP, um, we, as the, the citizens always hear that, oh, um, I know for my party in a power, so basically me not get nothing in a gossip. No, that is not that is not true. That is not true. If nothing else, they ride, they ride them so hard like oh, so just because you're not for my party, you're not gonna do nothing for me era. They they can and they should. And if that is the case, this is where we need to be a lot more vocal. And let me tell you something too. You see, with opposition. We oppose no matter who in a party, your opposition party is supposed to be providing alternatives, alternative actions. And one of the most stupidest things that I see happen in politics is that whenever you go into parliament, you try to reverse whatever the previous party had done. Whenever you get elected, you try to reverse instead of build up and there are so many things that could have could have been been maximized there are so many things that could have taken off but no because i never jlp introduced this pnp have to come with something for, for it, it, a nine it, it, wow okay you come here sweet that got me worked up
me, me, I'm annoyed because our our um our oppositions should be working together with the leading party. But we not we not in that. And you see the look at that art mentality, it has to stop. It has to stop. It has to stop. Because I find that you grow up and a lot of a lot of us I find that in this day and age, I always say it, people are changing. Women aren't sitting down and taking whatever is given in, given to them. They're going out and demanding it. And um props to the women in politics that have been been working. Two of the people that I follow on like following their journey online, I don't know what they're doing in their constituency, but from what I see online and people's response to them, I definitely like Lisa Hanna and I like um, Crystal Thomas. I follow Crystal. I see Crystal going out there demanding water for her constituency, um, providing for them and the big up she and I was there and I'm like, yes, Crystal, tell them to put on their masks. Tell them. And then Mr. Crystal out to do a dance. I look on the big old group of people. Like, one is not supposed to need for your campaign at this time because you should have been doing the work. People in your constituency should have known you before now. Before now. I'm this I'm very, very disgusted. Because in a time like this, in a global, bro, I want to come on my yard. I want to come on my yard. And I can't come because if I come, I have to do two weeks in a quarantine. And then however much time I have to spend. And then when I come back here, so I have to do two weeks again. I don't much time that off from work and school and everything. Like, I want to come on my yard, but I don't hear. I don't want to out the door. I don't want to be this. I don't want to be that. Bro. I'm sick. I'm sick. Here we were up in the up in the um beginning of the year when when um when the borders were closed. I booked my flight for that. Um I think I booked I booked my flight for the Wednesday and the borders were closed the Saturday and I cried. But I'm like, you know what? It's for the greater good. They're locking out any potential. This them are take care of people. Them and I applauded Jamaica's um, journey throughout the Corona all the way. Like I was following it up. I was getting the updates on the Corona meter and stuff. And I'm like, yes, do want to need for do show them big country here. Say we lick about with Talawa. And then this, like when we're supposed to be flattening the curve, like doing a whole nose dive and. and emptying out the numbers on a day here a record um 60 and 50 other day why since you go run up and down for, for, for politician what what don't business about you know what you know, don't care if them business about you know, you know those one in you know, orange and green and purple and pink right now like my first i'm very frustrated i'm very frustrated because here we are we don't hold them accountable all year round all the days of our lives mr people i'm 22 and i will never vote me i'm 22 and i wish me could have come home come vote september 3rd my vote count my vote counts and your vote counts too and the quicker and the realize that the better but not only the vote you need to put on the voices out there and make them know say look here you know and do this um 365 times 4. I'm counting the leap here and I 365 plus 1 times 4. How much time out of that we see you know? How much time out of that we see the things what we do for the community? All me are here about a state of emergency and this and that. And even that to like. Ooh, I'm gonna make me angry. I'm gonna, make, I'm gonna work up myself. Me, I'm, I'm very. Not even bad at hungry to backside. <laughs> I'm hurt. I'm mad at the politicians. I'm mad at the voters. And the thing is, no, for you know what they run up and down. Oh, 
Me a vote, me a vote for the Uno Nango turnout for election day. And if you do turn out for election day, you don't have no other say after that because what? No matter how you try to get to the MP and the council and the this and the that, you don't get nothing. No little, um, you don't get no, no ear time with them. You don't get to have a conversation with them. Them busy, them out of office. Oh, this a man here. Oh man, this a man. We not we hardly see him down here, so but him upper town and do not feel it. I've heard that so many times too. Cause me come from a little forgotten parish named Hanover. I hear him say, oh, we not really see the MP like that round here, but him there town and do this. Sorry, him do that at town. Okay. Okay. And me me me. Me don't know what you need to. You don't need to come out strong. And me have to applaud um, Bounty Killer for his statement. Me have to big up him. Because even though him did a drag Vegas and him like a girl girl self, um, it make a solid point. Create. That's a dirty bear move. Um, create. All our people, we want to see a better Jamaica. Let me see this. Level, take them down. You're not going to see a better Jamaica till you start vote for the country and the policy and not an MP a prime minister nor a councillor but the policy they presented we don't vote for party or personality we vote for policy okay may ask them look into my eyes tell me what you see can you feel my pain am i your enemy see now for we out there and we just about this one man and, oh no matter what me now vote for that party there I think that a lot of us ne have never seen. I don't remember why it's name. Why it's something name where they run? Um, an itinerary. Uh, not even remember. But JPP come in with a whole barrage of things what them are gonna do for it. And I think that is the first time that Jamaicans ever sat down and thought about what um I try insert word here what um this is actually how much I want to know what an MP have planned for no for no um for no area how much of you have seen how they will accomplish this we're not business we just my mother, Labour right, my father, PNP, my granny, down to in this green and in that yellow and in that orange. That's all I don't care about. That's that's really all I don't care about. Because that's how we grow up the ear about. For them mother before, for them mother, for them, for them mother, 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 a JLP. Or um a DK in a parliament front, that 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 on a this, 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 son a and that's all we business about. That's all we business about. It hurt me, Ed. It hurt me, Ed. Very much hurt. Because I love my little country up and over there. But there are many things that we still need. Access to healthcare, so on. Um, not healthcare, you know. Access to. Me not ask you if you want a clinic up there. Me ask you know, if I have an asthma attack, how long it's going to take me to go Lucy or Cornwall Regional. Because here's the road. We don't have no taxi, we don't have no this, we don't have no that. There are so many things that are lacking. But check out, check out people them in a orange and green. 
So blue. Like, check them out. Pan them bandwagon. Dominate polling station for election day. But what we have for sure feet. What we have for sure say so we're represented. Nothing. Nothing. And people are gonna say, you don't know what they say, you don't know. <coughs> A lot of these things can be and should have been addressed <coughs> and rectified before election season. What if them? We never need election season for the little, little um, mall come drop on the road and some little add up mall are, are not like that. We never need this election season to start introducing ourselves to people in our community. We never need the election season, especially in a corona, a, pand a global pandemic. Fear do all of this. We don't even did campaigning should have cancelled. We don't never need for the campaign right now. Because when the work supposed to show that they show off itself. I'm very disappointed in the people that mother run back on me. Because them go out for your, for your disappointment. Same. We have got to grab our comfortable shoes, put on our masks, pack a brown bag, dinner, and maybe breakfast too. Because we've got to be willing to stand in line all night if we have to. This is who we still are. Compassionate, resilient, decent people whose fortunes are bound up with one another. And it is well past time for our leaders to once again reflect our truth. So it is up to us to add our voices and our votes to the course of history Echoing heroes like John Lewis, who said, when you see something that is not right, you must say something. You must do something. That is the truest form of empathy. Not just feeling, but doing. Not just for ourselves or our kids, but for everyone, for all our kids. And if we want to keep the possibility of progress alive in our time, if we want to be able to look our children in the eye after this election, we have got to reassert our place in American history.